Hello YouTube! Growing up in the 70s and 80s, I was first introduced to Tony Danza through the television show Taxi. On Taxi, he played Tony Banta, a young taxi driver that also wanted to be a boxer. Taxi would run for five seasons from 1978 through 1983 and received the Golden Globe Award for Best Comedy Television Series from 1979 through 1981. Along with Tony Danza, this show had an amazing cast including Danny DeVito, Judd Hirsch, Mary Lou Henner, Andy Kaufman, Christopher Lloyd, and Jeff Conaway. After Taxi, Danza went on to even greater fame in the show Who's the Boss, where he once again played a character named Tony. This time, Tony Michelli, a single father and retired baseball player who becomes the housekeeper for an advertising executive named Angela Bauer, played by Judith Light. Together, they raise their kids, and over time, a romance between Tony and Angela ensues. While initially met with lukewarm reviews from critics, it did, however, have decent ratings and ended up running for a total of eight seasons from 1984 through 1992. The show also helped launch the career of Alyssa Milano, who played Tony's daughter on the show, Samantha Michelli. Tony Danza was also recently in a Netflix series called The Good Cop, in which he starred with Josh Groban. And here's a bit of trivia for you. The Good Cop marked the sixth time that Tony Danza played a character named Tony. On the show, he plays Tony Caruso Sr., a disgraced former NYPD officer who lives with his son, who also happens to be an NYPD officer. Getting back to Who's the Boss, Alyssa Milano was just 10 years old when she auditioned for the role that would be a springboard for an acting career that has lasted for more than 35 years. I think that's pretty impressive. In the 80s, this show was part of my Tuesday evening viewing, along with Growing Pains, which followed it early on, and then later on, Roseanne. So I was a bit intrigued when I recently read that Tony Danza and Alyssa Milano have been approached about doing a show together where they would reprise their roles from their 80s TV hit, Who's the Boss? The show would pick up 30 years later, and Tony would now be living with his daughter, who is now a single mother, living in the house that she was raised in. Now whether Judith Light would return to the role of Angela Bauer is still to be seen. Sony Pictures is said to be developing the project which as of yet hasn't been attached to any specific network. I'm really excited to see this happen and will definitely be watching when it airs. I wouldn't be shocked if it was picked up by Netflix or another streaming service. Netflix already did something similar with Fuller House, a spin-off of Full House that seemed to do fairly well. So what do you think? Could a reboot of Who's the Boss work so many years after the show's original ending? Did you watch the show back in the 80s and would you even be interested in watching a reboot? I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel where I talk about movies, TV, and music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay safe and have a great day.